you've guessed it we are exploring the art of boxing today here in Ghana at Charles Quarte Boxing Foundation my name is Melissa Rawa this is Art and Soul let's go all right so I've actually cooled down now and I'm with the Mr. Charles Quarte of the Charles Quarte Boxing Foundation <laughs> Mr. Charles how are you I'm all right I'm good wait first we have to death how do you yeah yeah <laughs> I'm doing it right you're doing good nice one I want to know about you and your journey. Yeah, um, when I was um, a, little boy, a little boy, at the age of 16, I started boxing at the Atokashi Boxing Gym. And I moved to um, Cassava House, it's close here, and I started doing boxing. And um, I joined the um, national team to the, um, 1993, and I went to World Military Games in 1995. I joined the Army, uh, Ghana Air Force, 1995. And we moved to, um, we went to World, World Military Games in um, Italy. And so I've been around for a long time. A long time. Yeah. I've been to uh, um, US, um, Italy, uh, England, uh, Commonwealth, uh, um, Kuala Lumpur, 98, Commonwealth Games. You know, I love boxing. Wow. And I traveled to America. When I came back, I decided to open the boxing gym to help the the community because we have a lot of uh, street boys here mm -hmm. so I try to take the boys from the street to train them because most of the boys over here you so say we have a lot of bad boys mm -hmm. so I decide to bring the boys in you know for them not to go out and do bad things yeah. so most of them over here um, we send them to school and we feed them in the morning and the evening you know because I love boxing and boxing is my passion, though. That's why I decided to do this to help the community. Yeah. yeah. Wow, you're doing a great job. Yes, ma'am. Wow. So then, when, now you've brought uh, some of the boys in. I mean, have you seen a change in their behavior? Like when they're going to school, how has it impacted their lives? You know, they are doing good. They are doing good now. You know, because um, most of them, when they start, they don't even go to school. But when we send them to school, the young ones coming now also want to go to school. So this year. We register almost like um, 10 new boys who send them to school when they you know, a new academic uh, distance start. We send them. And um, uh, Adi Dimpo, Azuma Nelson just come from this area. Oh, 
So a lot of box over here, a lot of boxes. It's not coming from Bukom, it's come from here. From here, yeah. They are, they are, um, family houses just close to here. So the boys over here love boxing and that's why we decided to you know, open a gym over here to help the community. Yeah. What about yeah. girls? girls? We have a, we have a girls here too. We have like, a, I think five, five girls. One of our girls joined the army now. His name is um, Rama, Ramatu Ablo. Wow. Yeah, he's doing nice. good. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. to, to mm -hmm. you. Wow. So then let's talk about um, starting your journey. I mean, do you have the same story as some of the young boys? Were you a street boy or you just just decided one day, I really like boxing. I'm going to do it for my um, life. When I start boxing, it's a little bit tough for me because my mother was sick and my father traveled to Nigeria. So they left me alone. Okay. And my sisters and brothers to their struggle. So from school, I decided one day I saw some of the guys doing boxing in the street. And I, when I stood there, I said, no, these boys, I can beat them. <laughs> so the next day, I went to their father and I said, I want to learn boxing. They said, why not? So we started doing it gradually because I used to work in the timber market here. I used to carry um, the timber. As a boy. As a boy, yeah. I, use, I do all the kind of things to, you know, to feed myself because yeah. it's tough. So when I came back from the state, I see this boy, the way they're going through, I say, no, I have to help these boys. Some of them, you know, they can, they can achieve their, 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 their goal. So yeah. that's why we open the gym to, you know, help the boys. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, so the um, Neil and mm -hmm. used to come here and, and, you know, help us. And then I think the Accra mayor too. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, um, the current mayor have yeah. been to his place before. So they don't, they love boxing because um, all the you know, this, um, uh, this is what we do here. Uh, it's a small community, but everybody over here loves boxing. So we are doing this to help the, uh, you know, the boys to, to bring them out from the street. Ghanaians love boxing. Yeah, we But do. it's like, um, we, don't help, we don't get help from the, um, the government. Uh. You know, see right now, the national team are training the junior team. Okay. They train here. The senior team are training in the yeah. stadium right now. Mm -hmm. They don't get no motivation, nothing. They don't nothing. give them anything. They train in the morning and they just give them uh, porridge and uh, this small cozy. Yeah. They don't give them money to buy soap to wash their clothes and nothing like that. Wow. Coach Asari is doing a good job. He's trying to help the boys. You know, they will train the boys like uh, in the morning, um, 6 to 12 or 6 to 10 o'clock wow. without getting paid. Wow. They are doing all kind of work without getting paid. And this is it's our national team? National team. It's not good. No. Um, we train the boys and they, send, they take them to the national team or maybe some of them join the military and other service. And we, the coaches, we don't get anything. We need help. We, the coaches and uh, um, the national team need help. Yeah. We need help from the ministers. It's not just like man, this administration. Uh, it started a long, long, long yeah. time ago. More than 30 years I've been in the game. Always no money, no money syndrome. And it's not good, it's not helping the, the boxers. We all love football. Mm -hmm. They are doing their job. And uh, the boxers too are doing their job. But we need help. They, they, they need to, you know, find some way to, you know, support the boxers. Yeah. When we are going to the games, they will promise you, if you win the gold medal, oh, you'll get like $2,000 or $3,000. If you know you have that money, why don't you give like $1,000 to the, uh, the training mm -hmm. so that you will train. They don't get no vitamins, nothing. Wow. We train so absolutely it's nothing. nothing. It's not good. It's not good. So how do they go? How do they get to the actual matches? Like how do they get to the um, um, boxing matches? Is transportation provided? Are they paying for plane tickets, bus tickets? What? Oh, when it's time to go to the African Games, they will come and promise that when you go there, they will give you this, they will give you that, like a, 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 a month to the time before you see them coming. But training people, are, uh, you know, like other countries. They are in tour right now, preparing for the uh, yeah. for the tournament. So if you go there and you don't bring anything, they say the coach is not good or the bosses are not good. But what um, government is not helping the boys here? Wow. And, 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 and it's, it's very sad. It's, yeah. If you go to stadium and see the hard work, what they've been doing over there with that vitamins, no, no, no. I mean, come on. Wow. We have to, you know, they have to wake up because yeah. boxing is not it's not a joke. Yeah. It's not a joke at all. These boys will run for like an hour, hour 35 minutes and they finish training. They don't get anything. Yeah. I mean, the, um, the chairman is, 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 is trying. 
is using his own pocket money to help the boys. Mm. But it's not so uh, uh, the chairman's responsibility. Boys, yes. yeah. The government have to help the ministers over there, have to help the boys. Yeah. You know, we don't do that. The last Commonwealth Games, we bring only one medal. Wow. And it's um, bronze medal, only boxing. Boxing bring the medal. Mm. But, and athletics all those people go there i mean they are trying them to they are trying right but everybody have to share the cake so that everybody will get his share absolutely you know but they don't do that things have to start changing yeah. and and i think it's, we definitely have to take our boxing seriously serious, serious no, absolutely because we've really we've brought out some really good boxes here from ghana that are, are nationally recognized globally recognized so wow okay well we still have much more to talk about so when we come back from the break mr charles is going to go through some sparring techniques He's going to teach me the basics of boxing 101. This is Art and Soul. You don't want to go anywhere. Hi, guys. Well, welcome back from the break. Now we're going to be talking to Mr. Charles. He's going to be going through some of the techniques that you need to know all about the boxing 101. So let's talk to Mr. Charles. Let me join the guys. Hey. Ooh. Hi. Good one, good one, good it one. It happens, it happens. Yeah, it happens all the time, huh. you know. I was struggling. I was yeah. struggling. Tell us what we're doing right now. This to build your thighs. Your thighs. Yeah, it's the same like when you go up there, you jump on the, on the thigh to, mm -hmm. you know, for your fitness. So when you get into the ring, you know, the ring is that we have a, a foam mm -hmm. inside the ring. So when you fight the first round, second round, you get tired. So when you're doing this, it builds up your fitness. Mm -hmm. So when you are in the ring, so like the muscles you'll get in your tired. legs, yeah, you get tired. Builds yeah. the muscles. Wow. Yeah. So it's so that's it's is it like also a part of cardio conditioning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good for your heart too. Good yeah. for the heart as yeah. well. Yeah. Okay, I was struggling. I haven't. I've done some workouts, but that one I haven't done before. Yeah, so this is hard. I think. So from here they mm -hmm. go over here. So you can show us. So yeah. we'll leave these guys. Yeah. And uh. We'll yeah. Um. Hussein, you come. Join us, join yeah. us. You go on the tight. Normally, wow. over here when they, they step on the tie, it's like you are doing the boxing. Yeah. The movement. For the footwork. Yeah, for the footwork. So when you stand here, you do this for like 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 minutes, yeah. Some of the guys do like a one hour, you know. And how many years has he been training? This this guy is almost like five years now. Wow. Yeah. So it's easy. But this little boy being here like six years. Which one? Yeah. The one over here. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. See, uh, <laughs> and he just, he just starts. And he just starts? Yeah. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> My first day. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, you can tell that he's doing it very effortlessly. Mm -hmm. So that means as you get, as you do it more, it becomes more. more, more, more. Much when more you do easier. this more, you know, your fitness level becomes high. So Absolutely. You don't get tired. Yeah. It, yeah. Wow. Okay, so what else do we have? So from here, from we we'll here. do the uh, we'll, some of guys will do the shadow boxing. Shadow boxing, and yes. Someone will do the pad. This is called uh, wall pad. Wall pad. Yeah. Okay. And one, uh, my, my, uh, my other coach is holding is the hand pad. So wall pad. So what exactly would the wall strengthen your arms? Yes. Like straight punches. You go here, straight here. Just go straight punches. Straight punches. Yeah. This is some of the guys. It's good for the hooks. You okay. Standing here. Wow. See? Okay. Wow. So if you want to build the left hook, mm -hmm. you stand here. So one, two, oh, one, wow. two, to wow. build the left hook. You know, most of the uh, boxers, you know, when you throw the hooks, the opponent go down. Because uh -huh. you hit the stomach, like he's standing here, when you hit the stomach, you bring his hand down. Mm -hmm. Then you use the left hook. Wow. Back, and you open it. So, so is the hook a good hook for a knockout punch? Yes, it's good. It's a knockout punch. Wow. Yeah. Okay, this was the gentleman on the tie. On the tie, yeah. Okay, yeah, so show Three us. Three punches. One, two, let's hook. Wow. Wow. Nice. Right. Now they're switching. You yeah. said this one's been trained yeah, for how long? Yeah, he's a senior more among them. Th this young man, yeah. since he was how old? Yeah, it's like um, a baby. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Seventeen years old. He's seventeen. Seventeen. Oh. <laughs> is that a little boy? Small. Yeah. Small but powerful, yeah. yeah? You see? 
this one to do it. He's the, he's the amateur boxer. Uh -huh. So you have to let him go faster. Okay. This guy is turning pro now. So okay. he's, we have to train them different way. Okay. You know, this guy has to do more fast, fast. But this is the professional. Okay. So he will go more distance. So the difference between the amateur boxer and the professional is? It's two different types. It's well, two different training yeah, styles? Training styles, yeah. Okay. When you train an uh, amateur boxer, like a, a professional, you see, uh, over here, we train, we miss the training. Okay. And it's not good. When we are uh, uh, up there, they train the, um, yeah, they separate them. Okay. So over here, I do the same thing. I separate the, uh, the amateur boxers and I separate the professional. Because wow. when they copy the um, professional boxing, they become slow. Mm -hmm. So when we travel outside, you get beat. Yeah. Yeah, because you don't, you don't used to do fast, fast, uh, you don't go fast. Right. But when you are a professional, you know, the run is like, uh, you go 12 rounds or mm -hmm. 10 rounds or 6 rounds. But these guys, they go like 1 to 3. Oh, wow. So when you get into the ring and you know you are not prepared, first round, they beat you, second round, before you realize you're out. You're out. Yeah. Wow. So the difference I'm seeing, so yeah. so I think maybe he has got some speed. Yeah. But this one, he's he, he's, he's strong. Yes. He's powerful. His punches he's, are he's very, very powerful. He's, he's very powerful. Punch. Wow. Yeah. I hope to see him in the big stage. Right. Both of them. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go to yeah, the, let's the go next over one. Yeah. Let's go over here. We we'll see what we have. So I tried some of this. I wasn't um, bad. But which, which what do we have here? Here he's doing the bag work. Bag work. Bag yeah. Bag this is the bag. Okay. Punching punch bag. bag. Yeah. Nice one. And how long has he been training? He's been training almost like um. Five, five years now. Five years. So uh, also since he was really small. Yeah, yeah. Wow. He started start at the age of um, I think ten or ten or so. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. He too has some powerful punches. He's a, he's a powerful puncher. Would he be considered? And I don't say this in a negative way, right. but a little guy. Mm -hmm. You know they call you have big guys, big little guys. guys because of the yeah, size. Yeah, he used to beat the big guys. He used to beat the big yeah, guys. So, yeah. but is he considered a little guy because of his size? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So for a little guy, he has very strong. strong for, yeah. punches. His father used to be a boxer too. Nice. Yeah. So it's in his jeans. Yeah. It's in his blood. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, nice these are, one. These are my, my, uh, some of the pictures. Yeah. yeah. This you? Yeah. Woo! So this when I was in the uh, Air Force. Nice. Uh, this uh, Douglas. Was nice. Douglas. Wow. Who beat Mike Tyson. Yeah. Yeah. This is Shidashi Muslim. Wow. This uh, 2000, we went to Indiana. This is uh, Italy, 1995. Nice one. This is King. Rana is the king, St. P. Manche, he was in tour, yeah. Wow. So those are the guys. Amazing. This, we take the trophy from Indiana. We did, we yeah. did. <laughs> so this nice. over here. So this, this what's the make, name of this? This, uh, um, we call it uh, wall to ceiling. This is like a um, speed ball. Speed, yes, speed a ball. speed bag, speed yeah, ball. Speed ball, okay. speed bag, to make your hands go faster. Yeah. yeah. Nice one. And then this this gentleman, how many years have you been training? Oh, he did just start. It started like six months ago. Oh, nice one. So, yeah. Nice one. Nice this one. This is here too. Nice one. Uh, Looking good. Yeah. This is excellent. These guys are doing, I'm sure you're proud of them, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm proud of them. Every time when I come to the gym, I see my boys doing <laughs> training. I'm happy because yeah. our days, we don't get it like that. Yeah. You know. Yeah, uh, have a nice place, place to sleep, a place to train, you know. Yeah. <laughs> It, it, our days is tough. It's tough, yeah. but you're making it easier now easier, yeah, for yeah, the young yeah. ones. So I want to quickly ask you, just mm -hmm. give us maybe like two, three techniques mm -hmm. for beginners. The beginners, when you come, uh, foundation mm -hmm. test, mm -hmm. you're like, let's come here. You, for the action. Yeah. you do your stance, mm -hmm. you do your stance, mm -hmm. then for like a couple of days, then I let you move, you move, left, right, left, right, yeah, then go backwards, one, two. One, two. So if you Always, you when you are going forward, mm -hmm. you move this leg forward. Left, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you are going back, you use right this left. one. Yeah. Okay. When you are going this side, you let this leg go. When you are going here, they go one, two, one. They go down. They go one, two. They slide step. Ah, one, two. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You you move this leg, then you slide this this leg. Yeah. You don't you don't stand like this. Okay. You open the legs. This leg come this side a little bit. No, no. The left one, yeah. Ah. Yeah. So, so you hold your guard. Mm -hmm. This. You protect your chin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See the way you're holding it. Yeah. Like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So like, if someone wanted to yeah. come here, yeah. then I can. Ah. Okay. So let me so see. Up here. Yeah. 
Protect, protect. Yeah, so protect this spot. Like let um Cochinati, you come. Now we have something to do like this. Mm -hmm. They they call it then when I jab, you block. Okay. So I'll do we'll do the So you show me. Yeah, we'll do the demonstration. Sure, sure, sure. So it's called leading a paddle. Leading the Yeah, you lead and and I'll paddle. Lead and paddle. Lead okay, the lead paddle. paddle. So we'll go one, two. Mm -hmm. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. See? One, two. It's like dancing. Well, yes. You have to be in rhythm. In yeah, sync. so you have to be in the rhythm. Yeah. You know. Nice. So you go. One, two. Let's do it. Our job. Move forward. And backwards. Then a job. Then you use this hand. To block. To pile. Yeah, to pile. We'll, we'll go hey. together. Okay. One. One. One, two, one. One, two, one. One, two, one. One, then two, pardon. Okay. One, one. Yes. One, one. Good. But I don't, don't bring my hand forward. No, don't move okay, forward. Okay, got it, Just got spider. it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Shall I go? One, yes. One, two. One, two. Yeah, yeah, you're doing good. You're doing good. You're doing good. Yeah, that's right. Good. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think baby steps, baby steps. Exactly. Okay, so you should so just give us one more the, for, for beginners, technique. For beginners. Mm. Yeah, so it's like the movement. Then we, we go once like three punches, we go one. 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 You let the let let go first. Mm -hmm. Always the leading punch you have to go. Mm -hmm. Then the rear one have to be there mm -hmm. to protect you. To protect you. Yeah. Okay. So we are doing you are a beginner. Mm -hmm. So let's go. Yes. One. Good. One. One. Good. So when you are going backwards, this leg and uh, this hand and the leg will go together. Mm -hmm. When you are going backwards, we go like this. One. One. Yes. By the leg, hey. you have to keep the st uh, the space. Yeah, maintain the the open. Yeah. So you go. No. Hey. You go this. I'm going which way? This yeah, way? Yeah, you're going this way. Guys, this is really, this way. It's really not that easy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yeah, go, go down, but yeah. Okay. You're going one, one. Oh, one. One, yes. One, yes. Okay. One, okay? Okay. Is that good? I'm okay. You want to do it? So when you want to do the left right, you go one, two. You support the right. One, two. One, two. So you stand first, then you do it. One. One, two, one, one, two, uh -huh. one, one, two. So always this, the rear leg has to be this side, like a little bit. Yeah, not, not too much. Yeah. Wow, yes. a lot of coordination. To support you, your balance. Ah, uh, okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay, get it. If your legs like this, mm -hmm. your opponent eat you, uh, your, your you just go down. Wow. So it's balance. Mm -hmm. Good one. One. One, two. Woo! <laughs> I did that one might be for another time. I have yeah. to learn that. Wow, so Mr. Charles. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. How did I do as a first time student? Good, good, good. Are good, you good, sure? Good, good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is super exciting. Thank yeah. you so much. And you're thank welcome. you for everything that you're doing for your community. Please continue. I can see these guys, you're really training some really strong young men. And I understand that you're also teaching them about discipline, discipline and right. hard work. So yes. I want to say a huge thank you. And I mean, let everybody know where you're located in case they want to come and visit. Um, we are located at um, Timor Market. Mm -hmm. When you get to Timor Market, um, when you get to Palladium, and you ask of um, Charles Quartier Boxing Foundation, you, uh, they will direct you to our gym. So who can join? What are the ages? Oh, we start with them uh, from age um, 8 mm -hmm. to like um, 22, 24. Nice, yeah. really nice. Yeah. You're doing a great job. Thank, Thank you so much. What about social media? Any are you on social media? Yeah. Uh, you're like old school, you're like, nah, <laughs> no problem. Well, Mr. Charles, we want to say a huge thank you to you. Ah, this has been great. I absolutely love boxing. 
definitely need some more practice for some basic techniques. But a huge thank you to Mr. Charles Quarte and Charles Quarte Boxing Foundation Gym right here. This is another episode of Arts and Soul. My name is Melissa Award. I'll see you next time. Oh